let's take a look at some basic selection tools. Some of them are key tools and lasso tools and put them to use to change the decor in this scene. We'll cover several different selection methods in this video. So remember that you can pause and rewatch parts of the video if you need to. The rectangular marquee tool is used to select rectangular and square selections. We'll use it to select this photo and change its color to match the other photos. Click in a corner of this photo and start dragging to make a rectangular selection. To constrain the selection to a square, hold down the Shift key too and continue to drag. Release your finger from the mouse and then from the Shift key. If you need to move the selection, you can click and drag from inside the selection or use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Now let's make a change to this selected area. Go to the bottom of the Layers panel and click the New Fill or Adjustment Layer icon and choose Solid Color. That opens the Color Picker, and when it's open, you can go anywhere in the image and click to sample a color. You'll see that this created a new Color Fill layer in the Layers panel. To make the solid blue into a tint, with the Color Fill Adjustment layer selected, go to the Blend Mode menu at the top of the Layers panel and select Color. Now let's use another tool to select this round wood sculpture. In the Tools panel, click the Rectangular Marquee tool and choose the Elliptical Marquee tool from the Flyout menu. This tool is used to make oval or circular selections. Click on any edge of this round object and start to drag creating an oval selection. Now keep your finger held down on the mouse or trackpad and press the space bar at the same time and push the selection back to the edge of the object. Still keeping your finger held down on the mouse, release the space bar and continue to drag out your selection and shape it so that it matches the underlying object. You may need to do this a few times, all without releasing your finger from the mouse. And if you want a perfectly circular selection, you can also try holding down the Shift key during this process. Now let's make use of this selection. Go to the New Fill or Adjustment Layer icon at the bottom of the Layers panel again, and this time, choose Vibrance. Then, in the Properties panel, drag the Vibrance slider over to the right to subtly increase the vividness of the color in the round sculpture. Now let's take a look at a couple of the Lasso tools. Over in the Tools panel, select the Lasso tool. This is a freeform drawing tool. So I'm going to come into the image and I'm just going to quickly drag inside of the edge of this gold sculpture. I'm not being too careful about where I'm dragging because all I want to do is brighten up the inside of that sculpture. So with that selection active, I'll go down to the bottom of the Layers panel and from the Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer icon, this time I'll choose Brightness Contrast. And I'll drag the Brightness slider over to the right and that will just brighten up the inside of that sculpture. Another lasso tool that comes in handy is the Polygonal Lasso. To access that, hold down the Lasso tool and choose the Polygonal Lasso tool from the Flyout menu. This tool is used to make straight-edged selections, like the star on the bookshelf. To use this tool, I'll click to add the first point, and then I'll release my finger from the mouse, and you can see that it starts to create this thread. With my finger still off the mouse, I'll go to the next corner and I'll click to attach the thread there. And then I'll continue around the star doing the same thing. Just clicking each point where I want to attach the polygonal lasso. When I get back to the beginning, there's a small circle. And if I click there, that will close the selection. By the way, if you don't make it all the way back to the beginning of the selection, try pressing the escape key to release the polygonal lasso and start again. With that selection active, Let's change the color of the star. As before, I'll go down to the Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer icon, and I'll choose Solid Color, and I'll sample a blue color from the image. I'll click OK, and I'll change the new Color Fill layer to the Color Blend Mode. You also could reduce the opacity of that layer by dragging the Opacity slider over to the left, and that will make the tint less strong. And here's a bonus tip. Because we used fill layers and adjustment layers to make changes to these selected areas, our original photo remains intact and we can come back in and re-edit any of these changes at any time. So that's an introduction to using some of the marquee tools and lasso tools to make simple selections in Photoshop.